lies, falsehoods, untruths. You know, from flat earth videos to moon landing conspiracies, it's easier than ever to encounter falsehoods online. But why are they believed and shared? Human beings are, are, are masters of self-deception. We lie to ourselves about all sorts of things. It's a form of cognitive dissonance. You know, I didn't watch that many hours of TV this week. I, I didn't eat that many cookies. I'll do it tomorrow. I worked out enough. My antivirus is up to date. I, ooh. When lies are tantalizing, we're quick to believe them. Weight loss plans where you can eat whatever you want. <laughs> no, you can't. Make a million dollars by playing this app game. No, you won't. What makes these lies so popular? It's easy. It's repetition. Psychologically, the first time we hear a fact that doesn't comport with what you know about reality, we tend to dismiss it. Second time, dismissed. Third time, okay, maybe we'll take a closer look. I mean, read a bit deeper. Fourth time, we may accept it as verified information. Why else would it be so popular? This is especially true if the source of this information is compelling. The important thing is always be questioning the assumed. Always make sure you have justifications for the facts at hand. And if you see false information shared by someone else, don't encourage it. Reach out to the person to discuss whether what they shared is justified. The days of safely ignoring misinformation, they're kind of going away. We've seen how misinformation can sow distrust and cause ordinary people to do unspeakable things. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about Elf on the Shelf. He's been hiding under my bed for years and he just won't move. <sighs> So what do you do that makes sure that the stuff you share or like or whatever has some truth to it? Tell the truth now in the comments below.